So my dear viewers, welcome to this reading. This reading is for all Libra and it is for December onwards 2023. I hope you'll enjoy this reading. I hope my dear viewers, it helps you, guides you, supports you in knowing what's going on. It's a general reading about everything, everything that you need to know. All the questions that are in your mind lingering, wondering why this happened, when will this happen, uh, or how much, you know, um, how much this will take long, or, you know, whatever you are going through and whatever needs support and guidance, this is uh, the reading for you that is going to help you understand everything, what's happening, especially for December and a little bit over. So let us begin by shuffling first i'd like to say welcome everybody here welcome to this reading whether you're libra or not and let's begin with the first message and the first message is on target wow you are on target whatever you're doing wherever you're at whatever you're questioning you are on the right target on the mission and i feel like when when they say you're on target there could be um a reach to your destination soon but you're on target with everything you're doing a lot of success is coming your way you are following your ideal life path if you have a question whether you are or not you are following your ideal life path so you are on target there's no question about it you don't have to worry or, or think about you know what am i doing how much longer or especially when you are doing a, a hard kind of a lesson here if, if you're working um you know, in a in a hard environment or harsh situations, you're always wondering, am I on the right path? Is this where I'm supposed to be? Well, the answer is yes. And I feel like there is going to be a new beginning bringing you a lot of success. I truly believe that from what I'm feeling here and seeing. Let's have a look at the, uh, I'm going to take four cards from the tea, tea leaves and see what messages they have for you. So starting with the first one for Libra. We have one, oh, we have two, three, and a green one is sticking out, four, that's it. There are more sticking out, but I'll only take four so that there won't be too many. Okay, and the video becomes too long. <laughs> okay, I've got to keep making sure the videos don't go too long. Okay, so... Let's have a look at these cards. Okay, starting with the first one, we have the bat. The bat is about rebirth, starting over, a fresh start. But let's see what the tea leaf says. It says, take care, enemies are working against you. So that could be also another possibility. Take care, enemies are working against you. But it is a rebirth, uh, the bat, all about starting over, fresh start. The forest. The for forest is all about... Um, unclear thinking muddled and unclear thinking sometimes it's about when you are lost and you don't know where you stand questioning what you're doing or, and questioning time so it does look like uh, maybe you are going to get some answers here seahorse uh, this is about family matters family matters are here too you are on target and you are working with situations of family uh, the seahorse also is connected to the chinese ear of the horse i'll put this one here and marriage now there are situations that will need your perhaps you know your attention or there may be some issues happening in relationships uh, or in marriage situations or you literally can get married this could be about you getting married or a proposal or someone around you someone close to you getting married there is marriage but there could be also sometimes with marriage there could be issues in a marriage there could be sort of like maybe it needs counseling maybe it needs a little bit of support support may be needed in uh, marriage situations things might not be going like 100 percent. but of course uh, don't forget the um all the cards will start finally making sense and we'll understand everything the other message for all libra for december it says unicorn the unicorn is about purity it is also uh, according to ancient wisdom the unicorn is about passing somebody passing on moving to the other side um and the unicorn is also about a unique situation that will take place that will um reveal or right this is very important a change that's going to take over okay so yes according to this card it says purity so it's about purity purification um it's about you know getting rid of toxic situations but at the same time it could be getting 
or uh, getting rid of a toxic situation or a person. In some cases, like I said, it's passing. Uh, and the most important factor about the unicorn is um, a challenge, a situation that was challenging is coming to an end. It's absolutely ending. It's absolutely finishing. Or it could be a karmic situation that was quite challenging. Changes that are going to take place and then it's over. But then there's a lot of success that comes after this. So, wow, the unicorn. I haven't seen this like in ages and I've been doing this. This card never came out until now. It's amazing. How many times, how many days, how many weeks and months and years I'm doing it. I, I haven't seen the unicorn. But the unicorn has, comes up with divine timing when it's that time. Okay, let's have a look at two messages for all Libra for December. Two important messages. Wow. Okay, we have the Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords shows that there is a very delicate matter which it needs your attention. This situation is about a decision that should have been made some time ago. The truth has been there facing you, um, right there in the face, telling you that this is the best course of action. But maybe I feel like with well, the Seven of Swords, it's one correct choice, one correct answer. But to do it, to take the step, there could be harm. There could be pain. There could be uh, sadness for others around you. So treading carefully is the way to go. But ultimately, coming to terms with facing up to know what's in your heart where you already know that getting to the bottom of the like bottom of the situation the bottom of the matter and the bottom of the matter is there's only one true answer one correct answer no matter how much uh, we all i'm a libra myself we beat around the bush it's this is the only there's only one correct answer and that answer sometimes is very hard to take because in the process of you taking that step and being honest with yourself and taking it you could be bringing um, sadness to those around you, those who are relying on you. So uh, sometimes the situation lingers until it's divine timing. So that's that one. Cautiously considering something, but not able to take the steps yet. There may be two more, two more challenges and it'll be over, or two more months and it'll be over. I'd say by February, there's two here. Now, wow, the Knight of Swords, great news is coming. Again, to do with the all the um, air energy is here. Libra, which is air energy, but of course other air energies involving other people like Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Because I feel like this is a situation or the decision could be in regard to someone of air energy. Um, news is coming. Truth is coming. Some information is going to be clear to you. You'll know what to do. You'll be able to move forward. Everything is going to be in clarity. So that's that one there. What you don't see happening and happening... Uh, what you don't see yet to happen, you're leaving. Somebody's leaving, leaving with regret. But there is someone very supportive uh, that will be coming into your life and supporting you in Earth energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. But you are leaving in, in search of more happiness. Maybe that's the um, that's the, the situation here where you need to make a decision to leave, but you don't want to leave someone uh, hanging or maybe you're thinking about everybody else the family everybody concerned don't forget my dear viewers at the end of the reading i'm going to go through all the star signs and find out who what are the star sign combination of the person that you are destined to be with or not rather destined to be with i'm sorry that you are going to be overwhelmed with and and dealing with in december so that we can work out who this person is. Let's see if they'll come out in the December. And I always do a little bit more. Maybe this person might come a bit later on because it was a bit later on. Could be coming in January or February. Something's happening in February. So we'll see. We'll have a look. Now we have an idea of what's happening there. But there is an earth energy coming and helping you, supporting you to move forward. Now let's go through two more important messages for Libra for December. The Queen of Pentacles, there's that earth energy again. Someone very supportive that is going to help you reach your goal. They're going to be by your side supporting you all the way. I also feel that there could be earth energy uh, already with you and together you're reaching an amazing goal. Or there could be someone new coming into your life. I'm going to clarify to see exactly how that works for all Libra. Okay. Now, you do have choices, opportunities. The Seven of Cups is about choices, but sometimes you've got to be very careful with the Seven 
of cups because there could be misleading information. There could be hidden agendas. So there may be a great opportunity without a doubt, but in the midst of your choices, you've got to analyze well, you've got to decipher what is true and what isn't. And then finally, there is something wonderful that will take place without a doubt. Now, what you don't see coming from this deck, you are destined to be free. The Two of Pentacles keeps showing itself. And I'm going to take the justice. Now, uh, it shows a time of freedom, a, um, a time of not having a care in the world. It's coming very soon. And it shows that where you were torn between whether you should stay here or you should go there, you should take this step or not, the answer to this uh, situation is coming very soon and it's going to free you and justice is going to prevail for you, my dear Libra. And this is your, your card. It's the card of justice, fairness and justice prevailing and giving every right to you in your favor. So you don't have to worry if there's any justice matters. Now I'm going to take three more cards from this deck and then we'll continue on. To all Libra for the December. Wow, we have the Fool again doubling up. It did double up again somewhere, I don't remember. But there it is, the Fool doubling up. And when things double up, I've always um, asked, um, pleaded with the Divine to give me doubles and triples. That way I will know the intensity of what is important for my um, people who are watching. So it shows to me that even though you might you may not see it now, you might even think it's not even true, but there is a very, in a very short time, you are going to be freed from something, something toxic. Something is leaving your life or someone could be leaving your life. It could be either one. But something is leaving you, something that is not maybe toxic, but someone that's not happy or perhaps a situation that wasn't happy or a situation that was causing trouble. Uh, you have to come to terms that the only true way, the true answer is perhaps leaving, whether it's yourself or the person. Now, this applies very strongly to liberals that have um, earth energy in them, especially Taurus. If you have Taurus or any kind of Taurus uh, to do uh, with you or someone you know, uh, and if they're Taurus, Libra, uh, united, make sure you watch the Taurus general reading because I feel like Taurus with Libra are going through this a situation where somebody wants to free and they want to take the next step and leave and i feel like somebody is leaving so um this is what you don't see coming is that what it was oh sorry no this was the first card that came here now we've got two more to go the other one is the four of pentacles how beautiful the four of pentacles is about large sum of money a very large sum of money out of nowhere unexpected jumps into your lap with it comes responsibility with it comes there are people around that might be jealous they might want more it could be an inheritance don't forget we said the unicorn could be a, a passing a de like a death card it's about purification and regeneration death and rebirth uh, so luck the bat oh my god luck the bat rebirth death and rebirth unicorn is death and the bat is rebirth wow so um it looks to me like money is coming out of nowhere. This money is going to be life-changing money, foundation-changing money. You can do a lot with this. You can buy a business. You can buy buildings. You can buy um, pay off homes. There's a, there's a lot. It's a big amount of money. And you are going to, going to want to protect it big time, like really want to protect it. So, yes, you will. And um, this is going to make a big difference in what you are going to do next. Now, last uh, one more card. And this one is the emperor. How amazing, the emperor, to come at a time like this. The emperor is about power and control. Maybe it's this money that's going to give you the power and control that you need. It is also this money that's giving you um, the freedom, absolute freedom. I'll just put it here and put this one here so you can see the freedom that's coming. You are destined for freedom. And I feel like, see, and we've got the eagle. Isn't it amazing? We've got the eagle next to the emperor. Freedom to the highest level. And it is going to give you power and authority over your life. And I feel like this big amount of money is going to be the cause of this. Because how could you have freedom and no cares in the world unless you have a lot of money to back you up? Otherwise, you're, you're worried. You're working. You're doing. So, um, yeah, big time here. 
the situation. So we've got the fool twice, and then we've got the four of pentacles, and then we've got the emperor. Now, with the emperor also, there could be an offer that you can't refuse. Um, I feel like a lot of clarity, a lot of truth is coming, and I feel like... Um, for those of you that have fire energy in you, there is going to be someone new coming into your life, a fire energy, someone wonderful. Fire energy being Sagittarius, Aries, Leo. So we'll put this one here, what you don't see coming. A new beginning that's going to be igniting, that's going to give you abundance of joy and expansion. And it could be great love also. And then you've got the King of Swords. And the King of Swords shows that a lot of clarity is needed now, more than anything else. And that is what's going to give you the power to move forward, to be able to take any action with clarity. You will be an authority. At the same time, we are talking about someone of air energy, such as Aquarius, like yourself, Libra or Gemini. So that's that one. Now, let's move on to the next level and see what else we need to know. Whoops, something already opened up and we've got the golden crown. I'll talk about it in a moment. Just take one more, Libra. And then we've got the hand. There will be help. There will be assistance. Somebody is assisting you, helping you big time with a golden hand. The golden hand is also about manifesting what you like, manifesting what you need, manifesting money, reaching goals, assistance, financial assistance. If you need it, you are going to get it. I also feel like it's to do with work that's hands-on hands-on work and help getting a job somebody could be really supporting you and helping you get a job but without a doubt manifesting what you want writing what you want and putting your intention there and manifesting it now with the golden crown is all about wealth power play overcoming obstacles and wealth it is also about um, being your own boss having your own business taking charge controlling situations like the emperor the emperor is also about you know, being offered a job where you are in control. It's about power, kingdom. You know, the emperor runs a kingdom. And we've got the crown, of course, and the crown gives the power to the emperor to become the emperor. So taking charge, making progress, and leveling up in life big time. I feel like something major is taking place, and maybe this is also... Uh, the empowerment and the wealth that's coming could be part of this money that's uh, destined for you. Okay, now that I'm not going to use this deck, one deck I'm not going to be using it. So what I'll do is I'll take out the Four of Pentacles so that you can see it well. And, and when I talk about it, you can understand what I'm talking about. You might be more familiar with it. And um, very important. And then now I'm going to start seeing what else you need to know and of course it's going to be at the end as always whenever i search for something <laughs> it goes right at the end okay here it is that's the four of pentacles so why i'm talking about money and uh, power and wealth it's when it's doubling up i start really uh, wanting to for you to see everything because we've got the four of pentacles this way but this is what it looks like so that when i'm talking about money and foundation changing money as you can see in both pictures there's buildings um, this shows that this money is coming and it can um, it can dramatically change your lifestyle even where you're living your home you could pay off a home you could buy a home you could be you know um, there is so much money there so this could be and there's wealth coming also so wealth is part of this also so very important that you are aware of this and I feel like there's ground changing money coming that's why I, I got this all together for you to see so we'll see what else will show us that so we can understand this further. Now I'm going to move on to the next the next information that we need to know for all Libra for December. I'll go a bit faster. That's the first one. Oh, my God, the palm tree. The palm tree hasn't come up in ages. Okay, this didn't go well. December. Here we go. And we got the photograph. Okay, we'll talk about the photograph in a moment. But why I said the palm tree, this is about abundance. The palm tree is all about abundance. I wonder if it's written there. Let's have a look if they have worked it out. Hmm. Okay, so they say stability, security, permanence, growth, endurance, and flexibility. But the palm tree is always known, according to the olden cultures, it is to do with plenty, bounty, and abundance. Okay, so we got the photograph. There's another thing showing abundance here to do with abundance. Now, the other thing, the photograph looking at your photos, missing you. Somebody's missing you. Somebody's thinking about you. Somebody's missing you. 
you are going to make new memories, but there is something nostalgic here. Something nostalgic where somebody's looking at your pictures, reminiscing maybe. Somebody that you might have left in the past perhaps. Or could be someone that wants to marry you. This marriage could be part of it too. Somebody who might have been married and you're divorced and they're thinking about you. That is also, everything is a possibility. Now, um, pay attention to the red flags. Very important. Pay attention to the red flags. That means there'll be signs. There will be signs that are cautioning you what to do. Um, especially if there is something where you need to uh, be dealing with any kind of hands-on contracts, signing, signatures, law matters. We've got justice, but you know what's amazing? Justice will prevail for you. So that's wonderful. And um, let your friends help you when you are in the process of doing something. Accept help and support from others. This is the time, especially if you are in the process of moving or if you are in the process of um, leaving a situation behind. Let's see, Libra, what other messages are there? Because there's good news that you could be going somewhere or getting the, the go-ahead to be able to move or making that decision finally to go. The truth for Libra. What a beautiful card. Okay. Um, this is all about, it says, when it comes to matters of the heart, there is no right or wrong. Every choice you make expands your understanding of life and love. Every choice you make. It expands your mind, your understanding of love and life both together. So every choice will do that. Now we are going to clarify everything. We've got everything happening. Now let's start with and try to understand what's going on with the Queen of Pentacles for all Libras. All Libra. Okay, so it looks to me like this is someone of earth energy. This is someone with earth energy and perhaps air energy. Uh, this could be uh, in regard to someone telling you the truth or guiding you to the truth. This is about the truth. The souls are about the truth. It is also about a new beginning that's destined. There is a possibility that this is in regard to a person that's air energy, like Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. There is an air energy that around you or you're involved with, my dear Libra. And this person could have Earth in, in them also. They could have Earth, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. But there could be a new beginning, a direction to the truth, a new beginning that brings you a great victory and it brings you a lot of understanding, a great victory but a lot of understanding. A lot of things will be clear to you. It's amazing. We've got the clarity. We've got the king also of swords. Things um, are going to be clear. Things that you didn't know, you'll start knowing. You'll start understanding. Be, you'll have a lot of clarity. And there is a great new move. And maybe this is going to help you be able to have the, the power of freedom because you'll see things clearly. And you'll be able to move. What you don't see happening, there is celebration, especially after uh, after. Um, sacrificing, where you've put your interests aside and doing it for somebody else, you are going to be celebrating something wonderful that's happening, something magnificent. You, it's going to be really um, time for celebration. So this earth energy could be also someone that is going to be very supportive and by your side, helping you move forward. Now let's go to the seven of swords, this decision that is so hard to make, the correct answer. Let's see what this is all about. Okay, this is in regard to someone of water energy, such as Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. And the decision is going to be for you to make very quickly. At a time where you are on the crossroads trying to make a decision, you need to act very quickly. You need to take action quickly when a situation presents itself to you. How you'll know what the situation is, is when you know that this could be resolving a problem solving it completely but also you'll be able to take advantage of a situation so that's when you really uh, need to act you've got to do it really quickly but there is leaving again there is that leaving that we saw before leaving and the end of a chapter and there's the four of pentacles and the justice card so this shows to me that you are leaving we saw this before it was somewhere here mm. where on earth was that okay I'll find it in a moment. 
Okay, so let's take the Four of Pentacles out here from here. Wasn't there leaving? There's the other Four of Pentacles, but the leaving. I could have sworn I saw it somewhere. Anyhow, it doesn't matter. I don't want to waste a lot of time. Time is always a problem. Okay, so we got the full here. Okay, so I need the full. Okay. So um bear with me, my dear viewers. There it is. Here it is. Okay, the leaving. The eight of cups. That's what I'm talking about. Leaving shows again, regrettably, not happy, but you're leaving a situation. Now, the way you're leaving the situation looks to me like somebody could be leaving also. It's possible. There is the end of a very suffocating chapter of your life. It's coming to an end now, and you are finally able to go to leave. That's what this is happening, and I feel like that's what the bat is all about, and so is the unicorn. They're all about this leaving, this chapter ending, and you're leaving. Something that was maybe you were sacrificing for the sake of someone or you could have been working hard, uh, doing um, suffocating while you were doing a job. This is all coming to an end and you are going to be released. So I feel like um, you are on target, whatever you're doing. And I do feel like you are going to be making the right decision or perhaps you might not even need to make the right decision. The decision is going to be made for you by destiny. So you don't have to do anything. But um, the Four of Pentacles did come up again. What you don't see coming and justice prevailing. Justice came again. So we got two justice. Justice is going to prevail. And you are getting money. Like this is really shocking. I want to show you this. Why I'm getting amazed and shocked. We have three. Three four of pentacles okay so we've got the four of pentacles three times have a look at that we've got the golden crown which is all about wealth this is money big time that's why I'm, I'm talking about it so we're talking about unexpected large amount of money and it's tripled in your reading my dear libra tripled one two three times the four of pentacles as you can see and these are the other four of pentacles so it looks to me unexpected large amounts of money are coming and they when it triples it just shows how accurate this is, how fast this is going to happen, and how much money is coming. And justice will prevail because you've got two justice in your reading. So two justice, and that's you. This is your card, Major Arcana called Justice. It's the Libra card, the card of justice and fairness, honor, and truth. And you will have all the justice that you deserve. And it seems like to me a large amount of money that you might have lost or somebody might have taken from you is all coming back and you are going to be unexpected you are going to be shocked when this happens because it's going to change your life dramatically this could be the gift from the heavens so the four of pentacles twice shocking okay now let's move forward to the next one and the news let's see what the news is all about here for all libra what is the Knight of Swords all about? And it looks like it is connected to someone of fire energy or those Libras that have got fire energy within them. Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, or somebody um, that might be very supportive helping you move forward, especially when a cycle ends. When you move on to a better cycle, when you are elevated with a lot of victories, a lot of rewards, and a lot of abundance, large sums of money. Some of you traveling, waiting for travel uh, uh, release, and you're able to release and go. Freedom. But most of all, elevation in life and in your finances. This is money to the highest level, just like these pentacles that are showing. Big money coming in. Someone of fire energy, very supportive, very helpful. And there it is again, the fire energy, the page of wands. I feel like someone of fire energy is going to be helping you big time. Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, or you could be the Libra that has got a lot of fire energy and you will be supported big time. Support's coming from the universe for you. So that is all happening in regard to this. There is something that reaches an impasse and it ends completely and utterly. Uh, there is no more resolutions. It's, it's a situation that ends and there are there is wealth coming right after this. So on top of all this money we were talking about, now we've got wealth on top of <laughs> we've actually got the wealth, uh, the crown being the wealth, and we've got the wealth card now sitting, where shall I put it, right in the middle here. So we've got the crown, and we've got the ten of wealth, 
and we've got three unexpected large amounts of money coming. Have a look at that. This is like enormous. What, what can I say about this? This shows that there is a lot of wealth destined for you, a lot of money. Have a look at your, your money reading and let's see what it says there. I feel like the last time there was a windfall for Libra. I'm a Libra myself, so I remember there was something about a windfall. Um, I wasn't playing a lot every month like I should. <laughs> I started paying attention on playing the lotto uh, and the lottery every month, but I only play about $10. I don't play much. So because I believe when it's divine timing, it's going to happen. It's not about putting a lot of money in there. I'm not much of a gambler, not a, a good gambler at all. In fact, I don't believe in gambling. So have a look at your money reading and you'll see what we're talking about here. Um, I feel like an enormous amount of money is destined for you. So open the doorways. That's what I say. And let the wealth come in through God, through the angels. And of course, there's no means for them to come down and give it to you. So that's why I always say the lotto or the lottery. Um, this is really major, my dear Libra, major. This is big. This is, uh, I've been seeing this um, a lot actually becoming spectacular. Anyhow, let's move on to the next. Let's see the seven of cups and what are these opportunities and one in particular uh, that is great and the others are misleading. Let's see what the universe wants to tell us. It could be in regard to a union. Working in team together, the Three of Pentacles is about working in a team together, working in a business together. Teamwork is going to pay off big time, a lot of profits, a glorious outcome coming from teamwork and perhaps a business. And, um, and there's the rebirth, the bad that I was talking about. This is the rebirth. So there is a new beginning coming to you, and that has been shown also with the, um, the new beginning is here also with the the world it shows a cycle ends and a new cycle begins and hence comes the fool the fool is also part of this because the the bat is also part of a rebirth that's why i'm holding it a rebirth that's what it means and um it shows to me that um something major is happening there's a new life starting for you a new happiness and freedom it's going to give you freedom it's going to give you elevation it's going to give you wealth also, wealth is coming with this. A lot of money is coming, a lot of rewards, and a lot of healing. Compensation for all that you have lost in the past. That's why it's coming big. Whatever you've lost, it's coming to you big time. So whatever you're doing, my dear Libra, you're on target, and don't question what you're doing. You're doing well, and you are going to be rewarded. There is a fire energy again, fire energy. Someone of fire energy is going to be very, very uplifting, or it could be in regard to a fire energy that you are taking action. Or there could be someone that could be part of this opportunity or starting something fresh with this uh, fire energy. Sagittarius, Aries, Leo. And you, something new is igniting. We had this here before, I think, somewhere. It was here. I could have sworn. The Ace of. Okay, so um, <laughs> I get amazed how I lose the cards in the midst of this because I'm always in a hurry. So the videos don't become too long. Please do support me in watching them till the end or letting them run till the end. I can't find it, but there is a new beginning igniting, one that's going to sprout out and expand and give you a lot of uh, abundance and happiness. Now that I've done this, my dear viewers, I'm going to go through the star signs, five signs to give me a combination understanding of who this person is that you are going to be obsessed with, dealing with, and consumed with in December. Okay. And furthermore, maybe into January. Let's see. Maybe sometimes they do give us more than we what we say. So let's see. Five star sign combination of the person that you that all Libras are consumed with. Oh, oh, too many. But look at that. Aquarius is the number one. Um, I'm not going to take all of them. Just that first one. We need five. The truth. Okay, and there's the other one. And Aquarius again. Oh, my goodness. So two Aquarius. So Aquarius is leading the way. So Libra is uh, consumed with and dealing with. And then we've got the moon, Cancer. Cancer. So Aquarius, Cancer. That's the water energy. And there's fire. Let's see the fire. Oh, my God. Cancer again. So doubling up on Cancer, doubling up on Aquarius. And then Taurus. Oh, my God. How 100% accurate for me. I don't know about you, but... <laughs> My dear Libra, this is incredible. I'm just shocked. Okay. So 
we're talking about someone that is air energy aquarius is air energy then we've got two cancer which is water energy and then you've got taurus which is earth energy and what happens here my dear viewers what i'm seeing is that a lot of Libras are consumed with Aquarius. Why? Because Aquarius is an air energy like you, so you always blend well together, you work together, you come and do time together here, working, healing each other in this world as part of your system. As if, if, if there's no Aquarius in a relationship, it might be part of your family. It's always the case. So Aquarius, um, there is someone Aquarius, there might be Aquarius Cancer, uh, which makes them a little bit... Um, uh, very very nurturing very loving but also they always like their freedom and perhaps there could be uh, situations where what happens is because the water because the water which is the cancer double cancer the moon is the ruler of cancer so when i'm saying cancer to the moon the moon is the ruler of cancer and then we've got cancer water doesn't go well with air so this shows that this person if they are aquarius with cancer there is turbulence they're not quite happy and of course putting you my dear libra as an air energy with this person you know you might be it might be a, um, a twin flame or a karmic situation where uh, yes, there may be a lot of affection, a lot of love, a lot of connection, even spiritual connection, but there may be some problems sometimes because air disturbs the water and um, the water and air are not quite happy together. So if they have a lot of cancer in them and they themselves have got Aquarius in them, that makes it a very complicated relationship. But one that is very, uh, what's the word, very difficult even though there is affection and there is a lot, but it's difficult. But what I see here is something else. Now, there is a possibility that you could be meeting someone spectacular that might have water energy, cancer, and earth, Taurus. This will make it a perfect sign uh, for you to, to bloom together, to, to exceed together, to, to escalate to levels beyond where you are today, especially because water goes perfectly on earth, Taurus being earth and you my dear Libra you need earth to give you stability and you get that from Taurus so um, I feel like you will do well with an earth energy especially if it's Taurus it could be Capricorn or um, Virgo but Taurus is the one nominated um, the most important ones are Aquarius and Cancer because they're doubling up so it shows that you might be starting a relationship with someone that is Aquarius and um, double Aquarius or you might be starting a relationship with someone that's cancer with Aquarius. Um, and I feel like Taurus comes as a stability. And if it is someone that has air, water, and earth, that means they are quite stable. Life is going to be great because you'll get a lot of nurturing from the cancer, a lot of uh, practicality and um, friendship with Taurus. And then you've got um, a lot of um, ideas from Aquarius and uh, a lot of you'll blend well together because you're both air so you will do well together you are on the same page on the same level think alike and you can be great friends on top of being lovers so this shows to me that you are going to be perhaps also there will be fire I didn't take too much out but the fire is there um, I also feel like fire energy was here very strong or could be uh, actually show, showing that it's um uh, see, you know what, what what it is that I'm worried about? You are leaving a relationship. That's what I'm saying. So they're saying, you know, and we have got air energy here. That's why I'm thinking maybe fire and earth will come a bit later on. Fire didn't come out, but earth did, Taurus. If you are dealing with someone that is Taurus and Aquarius and Cancer, there could be someone uh, that is, if it's this combination, there will be someone nice, wonderful, maybe even very attractive, but they are a little bit stubborn and set in their ways. So you could be leaving a relationship with someone of air energy that might have water in them because it might not be doing well. Overall, I'm seeing an ending to something and the beginning of something new. So maybe they're not showing us the something new yet because maybe you haven't left yet. But I do feel like Taurus is going to be um, in the future with you because Earth will go well with you. Earth is number one and the second one is fire for air signs. So if you don't have fire and Earth, if you don't have Earth number one, you'll never be steady and, and you know, endurance and long term and happiness and everything. You need Earth first and then you need fire second. And then everything else can come uh, with a little bit a little bit of air is great you'll welcome it when you have the earth and the fire so um, at this point in time my dear libra it looks like to me that somebody is coming they haven't came yet 
they're still coming and you could be ending a relationship uh, perhaps with you might be consumed uh, with uh, Aquarius and Cancer and also Taurus could be coming in the picture my dear um, Libra I'll leave you there it's taken too long and I want you to know uh, I have issues with talking a bit slow nowadays but remember there is so much wealth and happiness to celebrate and also don't forget justice is going to prevail but you need to pay attention to signs because i think you're in the crossroads of leaving a situation and about to start good news is coming to support you move forward and help you understand that it's all going to be okay for you justice is going to be for you and the green light to go ahead to move forward so um remember that and my dear viewers do give me a thumbs up and support me by seeing the video till the end or letting it run till the end if you say you get bored at 20 minutes please let it run till the end that's the best support you can do for me i really appreciate it because the videos are becoming long and i need your support in that situation in this situation of letting the videos run without stopping them halfway if you can do that for me i will really appreciate it and if you can that's fine too i wish you a lot of love and light and a lot of blessings namaste